Hi there, everybody. This is Miss Nelson here. Today we are doing lesson 11.4 in our fourth grade Florida Go math books, which is called Join and Separate Angles. Um, if you are in my class, we are going to be filling in page 433 as we go through this video lesson. So make sure you have 433 out and that you're filling in everything that I do. So the main point of today's lesson is to find the measure of the angle when you are given a couple of measures around it. So for example, it says add to find, oops, get my pencil here. It says add to find the measure of the angle, write an equation to record your work. All right, so what I would do is here for number one, they've given us two different degree measurements and we want to find so they've given us this 43 degrees is for p q and then 37 is for this part of the angle right here so we want though to find it's telling us to find for the whole thing p q t so this whole angle so what we're going to have to do is just add the two together 43 degrees plus 37 degrees equals when we add that up it's 80 degrees so the whole thing is 80 degrees so we had both measurements already all we had to do was add them together to find the whole thing okay so same thing for number two they want us to find jkl so they want us to find from here to here to here, the whole entire thing. And they've broken it up into two other smaller angles. They've got a 90 degree here, and they've got a 10 degree here. So all we've got to do is add 90 degrees plus 10 degrees, which equals 100 degrees. So angle JKL is 100 degrees. Okay, next one, measure of angle RHS so they want us to go from here which is the R to the H to the S so the whole thing and this time they've broken it up into three we've got one that's 78 one that's 27 and one that's 55 so all I would do is add 78 degrees plus 27 degrees plus 55 degrees when I do that it gives me a hundred and sixty degrees Okay, now those parts are easy because they already give you the measurements. All you're doing is adding them together. Down here for number four and five, they haven't given us any measurements. So it tells us we have to use a protractor to find the measure of each angle and then write the sum of the whole thing, so the whole circle. So I have already gone ahead and measured these with my protractor, and you should know how to use a protractor. If not, go back and watch the video from yesterday. Um, but you would get out your protractor, you would put your vertex on the circle part of the protractor, you would put your one line at zero, and you would measure until the next dot that you have. This big one right here is 120 degrees. This one over here is 140 degrees. And this one is 100 degrees. Now this is a complete circle and we already know that complete circles measure 360 degrees. So when I add up 100 plus 120, plus 140, it gives me 360 degrees. If I added my numbers and it did not give me 360 degrees, then that means I measured with my protractor wrong and I need to go back and find my mistake and fix it. So your numbers in a circle should all add up to be 360 degrees. No matter if it's broken up into three degrees like this one is, or four degrees like this one is, I mean, sorry, three angles like this one is, or four angles like this one is, no matter how many angles are in it, they all have to add up to be 360 degrees. So my protractor for this one told me that it's 45 degrees here, 
And this one, as you can probably tell, just by looking, is 90. Same for this one, 90. And then the last one was 135 degrees. So my equation would look like 90 plus 90 plus 135 plus 45 degrees. All these should have degree signs up by them. So when I added all those up, it did equal 360 degrees. So I know that I used my protractor correctly. If yours, if when you measure and it's a circle and it's not adding up to 360, you're going to need to go back with your protractor and measure again and make sure that you're getting the correct measurements. So two things as a recap for this lesson. The first is they give you all the angles already measured out. You would add them up to find the total. And the second thing that we did was using our own protractor to find the degree measurement and then adding up to find the total. So if you have any questions, please leave me a message. And if you're in my class, make sure that you have this whole page filled out. Thanks.